Welcome or welcome back to I Need Help at C squared. In this example, we're going to find this limit using an algebraic method, and we're going to support our answer using a graph and also a table. So first of all, when, whenever you have a limit, you want to try to do the substitution method, which is nothing else than replace x with the given value, negative 3. If you do that in this case and you do that substitution, you're going to get 0 for the denominator and 0 for the numerator. And this is an undefined form, 0 divided by 0. You cannot, be, uh, you cannot do anything. So obviously we're going to have to use a different method to find this limit. And this different method is what we call simplifying rational expression. Okay. Uh, so for that reason, we're going to need to factor out the numerator and the denominator. For the numerator, uh, we're looking for two numbers whose product is 12, the sum is 7, that is 4 and 3. So we're going to have x plus 7, x plus 3, the factor form. And for the denominator, x squared minus 9, we can use difference of square, and that can be factored out as x minus 3, x plus 3. And you notice here that this x plus 3 cancel out and that is a good thing to look back here in this moment we notice why we had that zero over zero because uh, in those two polynomial we have a factor that when you plug negative three becomes zero and let's see what is left now limit when x approach to negative three and the only thing left is x plus four over x minus three which is the simplest form of this of the original expression and now we can plug in the number negative 3, and we're going to have negative 3 plus 4 over negative 3 minus 3, and that uh, will be 1 over negative 6. So this limit will be nothing else than negative 1 over 6 using this algebraic method. So now let's see how the graph looks like. This is just a piece of the graph of the function you see here, that rational function. We look in just in this window and you notice here we have a, a hole. Not all the time you're going to see the hole on your calculator. You need to zoom in or on your graphing utility. You need to be able to see that hole at least uh, algebraically. But if we look when x is getting closer and closer to 3, the value of the function is getting closer and closer to that value close to 0, between 0 and 1, which is negative 1 over 6. Also, you can take a look through a table. If you have a graphing calculator like a TI-83 and you know how to uh, put the function in and you can adjust the table, and uh, the, take a look on the table, use these three bottoms, um, you notice what's happened when x is getting closer and closer to 3, the y value gets in closer and closer to negative uh, 0.16, which is a good approximation of this uh, negative 1 over 6. If you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.